Hello. This demo provides an introduction for statistical analysis and graphical data representation in Phenome Networks. This is the first of a series of videos that illustrate how the system integrates pedigree, genotype, and phenotype information to provide a range of statistical methods and visualization tools to query and analyze the data both for breeding and research. The examples that are described here are based on real data collected on various crops in several research groups from academic institutes in Europe and Israel. Everything here is freely available and can be accessed and analyzed by anyone using this URL. To start, I'll select tomato and then log in. Users can log as guests or sign up to get their own account. After we log in, we are directed to the analysis page. This page can be accessed from the menu through analysis and then analyze. Before we start, I'll give you a short description about this page. On the left, there's a list of all possible analyses that are grouped into categories. In the middle, we have a list of all traits in the system that can be analyzed. On the right, there's a form to set parameters for each analysis. This form changes depending on what I select on the left. Now, to perform an analysis, there are three simple steps to follow. The first is to select the studies, or experiments, that we want to focus on. For this, I click on the Studies filter, and the Studies window appears. Then I select one or more studies, let's pick this one. Now the traits list is updated to contain only traits that were measured in the selected studies. Also, the status bar indicates the name of the selected study. The second step is choosing the analysis we want to perform from the left. Here I'll start with the first analysis, which is distribution. The third step is to move traits from the list to the appropriate fields in the form. Here, for example, I'll take the trait fruit weight and drag it into the Y variables field. I can set the other analysis parameters or leave them as they are. Finally, I click on the OK button. The result is presented as a figure and a table with some statistics and is displayed in a new tab. This shows a frequency distribution figure of fruit weight which is the trait I selected into the Y variables field. I can point on each bar to see the genotypes that are found in that range. Also, I can select them from the figure. When I click on a bar, like this, the genotypes within it are aggregated on the list. Then I click over here, and another tab is opened that shows all data for all traits of the selected lines, including images. So I can browse the lines and see all the data about them. Going back to the figure, I can select this checkbox and now move the lines into a list. The selected lines are displayed over here. I can create a new list and drag these lines into it. The list can have a name. and I can insert it into the appropriate folder. The 
so I can access it and view it quickly. Now I'll select the next analysis which is bars. Here we have two fields in the form. I'll put some nominal trades represented by the red icon in the X field. Let's take this one and then some continuous trades represented by the blue icon in the Y field. This will compare all X variables with all Y variables. And then OK. The result shows a figure for each combination of X and Y variables. For example, here I can see the average fruit weight of each of the color categories. The fit Y by X analysis has four fields. The title of each field shows the type of traits it can get. Blue is a continuous trait, green is ordinal, and red is a nominal trait. On the right we can see how many traits the field can have. The first number is the minimum number of traits and the second is the maximum, where an asterisk means that the number of traits is not limited. Fields where at least one trait is mandatory are displayed in red. Green means that the field is optional and you don't have to move traits into it to perform the analysis. To view information on a particular trait, I can click on the corresponding icon and a pop-up window will show more information about this trait. For example, let's click on here and this is the trait info. Similar to what I did before, I'll put one red variable into X. Let's take this one and then let's take two blue variables which are continuous variables into Y and then click OK. Again the result shows a figure for each combination of X and Y variables. Each data point represents a plant where its X value is its color category and the Y axis indicates its fruit weight. The green diamond shows the category mean and its height represents the confidence interval. Clicking on the show table will display three tables. The first is the raw data. The second is the means and other statistics about the X category. And the third is the analysis of variance table. These tables can be downloaded as Excel. Going back to the form, we can now use the color and label fields. Here I put a variable into the color field. Let's take this one and I'll put three variables into the label field. The result now shows data points color coded according to the variable we put into the color field. On the top there is a legend that shows the value for each color. Also we can point the mouse on each data point like this and the tooltip shows the values of the traits that we put in the label field. I can also perform statistical tests to compare X categories. For this I click on the compare means, select the type of test I want to perform, set the alpha value if necessary, and then I can select the control category. Let's make it this one. Now the figure shows the results of the statistical comparison. The red category is highlighted. Categories that are colored as black indicate a significant difference compared to the control under the test and significance levels that I have selected. Next, I'll compare genotypes that were measured in several replicated trials. First, I'll select the studies, then I put the variety factor in the X field and the trait yield 
and the Y. Also, let's color data points according to the plant weight. The result and the statistics are performed on the combined data set. The data points are now color corded according to the continuous trait plant weight, such that green points have a low plant weight, black is average, and red is high value for plant weight. Alternatively, I can go back and perform the analysis per study by selecting this checkbox. Now we can see a figure and the statistical comparison for each study separately. So the fit y by x analysis can be used to compare statistically and visually any nominal variable in the database against any other continuous variable in one or more studies. The next video will demonstrate the multivariate group of analysis where several continuous traits can be analyzed together.